Hey, well, I am excited about this. Let's open this up. This is from, if you haven't already read, Mission First Tactical. They are a magazine slash stock slash general accessories for AR-15 manufacturer. Now this uh, was sent to me for intent of this review. Sent me a hat, that's cool. Bunch of, oh, we'll go through that in a second here. They sent me two different magazines. Very cool. Now let's read the packaging here. Two, two, three. 300 AAC, stipple texture, low profile ribs, front texture, long life, stainless steel spring, four way anti tilt follower, flared floor plate, oversized bolt catch, that sounds cool, drain holes, paint pin dot matrix on floor plate. Pay, plate. <laughs> I'll get that right one of these times. Wow. That is a nice magazine. The follower is like super anti tilt. So it does indeed only go to 15 rounds, and that's because I'm in Colorado. So legally they can't send me a magazine, a 30 round magazine. They feel great. They have a nice over insertion tab right there. Got some really nice texture on the front so, you, so people can't grab the magazine out of your hands or you know, for just general grippiness. Here's the hat. That's cool. Oh wow, they, they make rail systems too. I didn't know they made rail, rail systems. And they got little 10 round rounders, that's cool. They make latches for charging handles. I did not know they made a transparent magazine. That is awesome. They make different color floor plates to identify your ammunition you're running. I've seen these uh, these pistol grips before. They're, these are really nice, actually. Similar to Magpul, like they have the interchangeable front and back straps here. These minimalist stocks are great. Integrated flashlight with uh, the foregrip, slings, trigger guards. Wow. I never knew they made all this different stuff. Cheek risers for their, their stocks. All different color mags. Oh, they make AK furniture too. Wow. Backup sights. Gas blocks. Lasers. Damn, what don't they make? <laughs> That's funny. Some like beer cozies. Definitely going away in the, the giveaway. That's funny. Oh, they, these, are, these are magnets. Cool. Just like a little... This is another sticker, I think. Some regular stickers, one more of those, kind of scully stuff. That's their little logo, that little eyeball with the, the crosshair there. Well, oh, cool. Thank you, Mission First Tactical. These stickers and things will be given away to subscribers. Let's see how this fits in an AR-15. Okay, nice. Oh, I like these, really well made. Let's see how these rounds load. We will see how difficult or not difficult it is to load these two magazines. See if we feel any resistance. Okay, nice and clicky. So far, it's effortless in a good way. Not like it'll just pop out. We'll, we'll do a shake test here in a second. Okay, I am feeling a little bit resistance next to the ogive of the bullet, kind of. Wow, when they mean 15, they really mean 15. There's like literally not enough room to even push that down. Let's see if this is the same. Okay, again, I feel kind of a little bit of resistance by the front of the the bullet. Not like the cartridge, but the actual bullet itself. Okay, I'm stacking it's a little bit weird. Let's see if it if we can get it one to pop out. Let me shake. Okay, it didn't. Not popping out. Okay, let's see if I drop it. And the round came out. Okay, no round came out. That's good. Let's see if this is the same. Okay, can't get it to shake out. No extra give to even think about fitting another round in there. On a closed bolt, let's see how these fit into the gun since it doesn't have any give. The closed bolt.
Okay, I got it in. Let's see. It takes quite a bit of effort to close it on a closed bolt. Now, of course, uh, you know, it's locked back, which is how it would be when you insert a fresh magazine anyway. So it's not really a, a complaint necessarily, but it is nice to have that option. So you would literally have to download if you want to be able to insert on a closed bolt. Let's see, I'm just gonna push it in. Yeah. So I'm sure if this was like a normal capacity magazine, and I say normal because 30 is normal, um, I'm really impressed with MFT for, for sending me these. I didn't think they were gonna send me two. I thought they were just gonna literally send me a magazine in a bag inside of a envelope of some sort, you know, just so I could test it out. But uh, they went the extra mile. So cool of MFT. If you haven't seen, if you haven't tried out their minimalist stock, get it. It is super solid. It has a QD point right here. It's super lightweight. It's got a little bit of rubber here to grip on here. And I, I've, I've beat this thing up. Um, I've literally mortared this thing. A lot of times it's like when a round gets stuck and you know you hold the charging handle and you smash it on something you know and it has it hasn't broken or anything it allows you to see the position it is if you have a, a stock with the numbers on them that's the adjustment thing right there i mean you can stick cordlet through here and here and then make it sort of like a, a triangular stock and or you can just fit slings through here like it, it's it's a great stock it has a lot of options and there's an attachment system right here for like a cheek riser i believe Go out and get one of these stocks. They're awesome. I'm going to test out these magazines. Not, not right now, but in the future. So stay tuned. These have been the MFT magazines. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.